Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to a brand new episode of Dying with World. My name is Zamina. And as you know, this is your favorite cooking show where every week we um, invite a chef from the Islamabad Marriott Hotel. And they're kind enough to share their secrets um, from the hotel. Today we have a very young, talented chef. She loves to cook. Um, she works, um, uh, well, she works really hard. Um, you know, to come up with these amazing recipes. And she's a foodie herself, uh, which is all the more better. So without further ado, let's welcome Roxana. Assalamu alaikum, Roxana. Welcome Assalamu again. How are you? Thank you so much. I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. We were just discussing before the show, she makes really nice. Uh, she, she's into comfort food, you know. And Thank today you so she much. also... Um, has brought some comforting recipes for us. What will you be teaching us today, Ruksana? Uh, our first recipe is uh, creamy macaroni salad. Mm -hmm. Light recipe for a home which we make easily at home. And uh, she has some really nice ingredients uh, line in line. I can see the jalapenos and the gherkins. Yes. So I'm really excited to learn this recipe. Um, you would want to know what the ingredients are. You will be needing two cups of macaroni cooked and drained. 1 cup cooked chicken shredded or diced, 1 cup mayonnaise, 1 fourth cup sour cream or Greek yogurt, half a cup capsicum, half a cup carrots diced, 1 fourth cup diced pickles, 1 cup cucumber, half a cup ketchup, salt and pepper to taste, fresh green onions for garnishing. Wow, I can't wait to learn this. I, I'm into I'm into salads, I'm into macaroni salads mm. and I'm sure like me everyone else loves you know, pasta recipes and pasta salads. Um, yes. So, um, shall we start? Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah. First of all, uh, for creamy macaroni salad, we need to blanch our vegetables, like carrots or uh, we have a sweet corns. We have to blanch it for one, two uh, or two minutes. Okay. First, I'm going to start from sweet corns. Okay, so um, blanching, um, I'm sure all of you know how to yeah. blanch, but this is just dipping it in, in hot boiling water? Or yeah, hot boiling water, water mm -hmm. boiling water. For a few minutes. For, for uh, at least one, uh, one to two minutes, enough. Yeah, so this way the vegetables don't lose their crunch, yes. right? But they're easy to eat also. So, Ruksana? Yes, ma'am. Um, do you make the same recipes at home? Yeah, we make it. Uh, also, I try these recipe at home. That's and who is the one who looks forward for your for your recipes? I'm sure everyone, are, you know, wait at home. What is Ruksana making today? Yeah, mostly family. Like uh, when we uh, when some guests are arrive, mm -hmm. we uh, invite some guests. We make uh, like uh, that immediate salads, like uh, creamy. Uh, macaroni salad or fresh green mm -hmm. salad, fresh ga mm -hmm. uh, fresh uh, garden salad. Uh, shred it, yeah, but I love to cube, uh, cube, uh, I okay. love cube chicken in our macaroni salad. Yeah, me too. I love cube chicken. But this is smoked, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you uh, tell our viewers how to smoke chicken? But uh, for this, we I uh, like boil it. Okay, for, boil uh, it. Yeah, six to seven minutes okay. I boil it okay, with right. black pepper, salt okay. or add some uh, vinegar. Okay. Because uh, for that smell now, we need uh, to add some vinegar. vinegar. Yeah. To finish the smell, the chicken yeah, yeah. Uh, gives out. Yeah, true. Okay, that's a nice idea. 
Thanks. Thank you. Rukhsana, I never knew that. Because in our in our desi cooking, we put yogurt, right? Yes, uh, yes. And the garam masalas. Yes. But uh, for you know, when you're making food like this, mm. it's vinegar that finishes the. Now, yeah. We're going to add our macaronis in bowl. After this, I'm going to add my chicken. Step by step, we will. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, this yeah, is like see. a party bowl. Yeah. Our carrots also ready. See, this color. Yeah. Perfect color. So um, she blanched the carrots for a slightly longer time mm. in the corn because the, the corn's already soft. I think it's frozen corn. Yes. Okay. These are the gherkins? Yeah, gherkins. So, like we need a sweet uh, pickle. For this, I select uh, gherkins. This is a perfect combination with the macaronis. So, we got a request from a lady uh, called uh, Bisma uh, on our Facebook page, and she uh, requested us to teach. Um, how, how to make uh, different kinds of dressings, uh, hmm. Ruxana, salad dressing. So, I think you would be the best person for this. We have different kind of uh, dressing. It's up to you. If you want to make uh, fresh green salad, mostly we uh, add uh, vinegar salad. Mm -hmm. yeah, or, uh, for vinegar salad, it's a totally easy recipe. We add olive oil, hmm. some black pepper, some salt. Okay. or uh, some uh, olive oil or vinegar, mm -hmm. these things enough mm -hmm. for uh, fresh green salad. If you want to make uh, yogurt dressing, for yogurt dressing we need uh, oregano, black pepper, salt, these things or uh, you need to add some fresh herbs like yeah. we mostly add uh, parsley, right. chop parsley, chop uh, coriander. Yeah. This is a technique which you, uh, we, whatever you want, yeah. we may have balsamic and for mustard, it's so technical to make it kitchen. Yeah. Now normally we can't make home. Yes, yes. We, because uh, if you uh, normally you make uh, balsamic dressing at home, you know uh, there uh, your that uh, vinegar and honey. We we have to make it combine like mm -hmm. this. We need uh, this thick consistency. Right, right. But when we uh, make it home, like unprofessional person make, after that they both become separate. separate. Yeah. True. This yeah, is a mistake. Yeah, yeah. It's to, like it's totally technique. We how we mix these things. Yes, right, right. Yes. Perfect. We can do a separate show yeah. on this. Yeah, 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 sure, sure, that, sure, sure. That's a good idea. So Ruxana, uh, like I said, is a lot into comfort food. Food that you know when you're watching TV, when you're tired, when you're down, when you want to be happy, you can make this. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are the, and gherkins are easily available in the market. Yes. Otherwise, what you can do is, how do you make gherkins at home? If you uh, if you want to Just make gherkin at home, like take small gherkins and dip in vinegar, and some add some salt. Mm. After one week, after one month, your gherkins like uh, if you want this type of gherkin, okay. your gherkin is ready. This is like uh, small techniques. Now I'm going to cut cucumber. So we are making creamy uh, chicken macaroni salad. I'll just repeat what uh, Ruxana did. Very simple. You yeah. boil macaroni. She added some uh, boiled chicken, added gherkins, cucumber. She blanched corn and carrots, but she's not added them yet. Yes. First, we add our fresh ingredients then we're going to start all spices add uh, all spices for even uh, for school lunch box uh, you have to make that uh, creamy salad for uh, kids nowadays they love 
macaroni, spaghetti, these things they love it, no? Mm. You can easily make, but they need uh, uh, creamy food. They love creamy food, so mm. we easily make at home. Mm. Add some sweet corns. The cucumber, which we okay. dice. I need some bell peppers also. Wow, that's a bell peppers. I love adding them to a recipe. Yeah. They give such beautiful color. Yes. What is your favorite ingredient, Roxana, that you would vouch on any time? You just love adding them to your, you know, adding it to your recipe. Fresh, fresh. Uh, I love fresh vegetables. Mm -hmm. Mostly, I'm trying to add fresh vegetables for my salads. Okay. I love uh, fresh green salad. Now it's not time of uh, mango. I love to make mango salad. Yeah. I love to make uh, fatouche. Mm -hmm. I love, really, really love to eat fatouche or we mostly try uh, cold miza at, uh, yeah. I even I make hummus at mm -hmm. home for my family. Yeah. <laughs> That's so nice. Sana, I love hummus. Yeah, I love it's too. It's really I healthy too. also. Yeah. Just dip it with bread and, you yes. know. Yes. So, uh, Ruksan, which part of Pakistan are you from? I'm from Gilgit, Hunza. Wow, you're from Hunza. Yes. And uh, I've heard, I know Hunza is just a beautiful place. I've never been there physically myself. I've been to every part of Pakistan except this. Oh. And, uh, yeah. but You should, you should visit. Definitely. And, and up north, there are lots of uh, restaurants now women have opened, yeah? yeah? Yes. Now we're going to add... Almost we ate our vegetables, mm -hmm. done. Only we uh, now we're going to add our blanche carrots. Now in a bowl we make uh, dressing for our creamy macaroni salad. This is a very important step here. First I add mayo. Okay. Then I am going to add some sour cream or if you don't have sour cream, add you yogurt. can uh, yeah, add yogurt or some black pepper. I need to add some vinegar. Some salt for taste. or ketchup mix it see this is also your dressing so so easy dressing for your salad we easily add, uh, make it home yes so it's, it's uh, mayonnaise, it's uh, sour cream, mm. if you have sour cream, yogurt, mm. ketchup, mm -hmm. salt, black pepper. Yes. You like cocktail dressing. Mm. You make cocktail dressing, no? Yes, like Thousand yeah. Islands. Yes, yes. Now we're going to add.
if you don't want to add uh, don't want to add uh, chicken at home you can just mix only vegetables okay yeah that much you no know. i'm sure we all want to add chicken at home <laughs> <laughs> but it's so soft yes juicy it's very juicy why because we didn't uh, boil it uh, like too uh, much yeah right. too much okay. only 7 to and 8 uh, minutes do you think vinegar also helps it to keep no 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 okay This is our creamy macaroni salad is ready. I guess. Uh, thank you, Ruxana. I was just thinking <laughs> that that would be it. Yeah, thank you so much. Oops, that's a lot. Okay, here we go. So. Sana, this is really delicious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I can't believe it. The ingredients are so simple. Mm. But the flavor and the taste, out of this world. Please try. You have to make this at home and you have to give us your feedback. Look, Sana, I don't know about the rest, but I will definitely make this at home. The dressing has added so much of flavor. And also the corn. Mm. Lovely. So if you want to know how we made the dressing again, Ruxana added one cup mayo, one cup of sour cream, ketchup, black pepper and salt. Now we're going to add some spring onion at top for nice look. So yeah, you can make burgers, right? <laughs> you can make some nice fish cakes with this. Yes. Sandwiches. Yes. And salad. Perfect lunch. Perfect. Or a nice light dinner. This was really delicious. I can't wait for the second recipe, Roxana. What are we making up now? Now we're going to make egg fried rice. Egg fried rice. So yes. she's going to teach you the five star way of making egg fried, egg fried rice. Yes. So what would you be needing? Um, the ingredients are three cups cooked boiled rice, two large eggs beaten, two tablespoons vegetable oil or sesame oil, one tablespoon white pepper, half a cup mixed vegetables, two to three green onions chopped, two tablespoons soya sauce, half a teaspoon chicken powder and salt to taste. So these were the ingredients of egg fried rice, uh, Ruxana. Like I said, there are so many different recipes on the, on the net for egg fried rice, but here you, you physically have um, an expert who uh, works in a five-star hotel and she's going to tell you the best way uh, of making egg fried rice. Of course, you can tweak it according to your taste preferences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can add some less, add some more, add some less. That's up to you. Ruxana, let's start. We need uh, boiled rice for egg fried rice, eggs, dark soya, some white pepper, chicken powder, or mixed vegetable or salt. These things enough okay. uh, or oil. For Chinese, uh, Chinese egg fried rice, it's up to you. If you want to make uh, with vegetable, you can make uh, with vegetable, without vegetable. Some people love without uh, vegetable yeah. egg fried rice. So, but I love to add some vegetable in my rice. So, first, for egg fried rice, I'm going to add some oil. We we have to blanch our vegetable first. Mm -hmm. So here you can see Ruxana's added some peas, 
uh, green onions, carrots, corn, and this one other vegetable, zucchini. zucchini. Yeah. Or broccoli. I ate uh, some broccoli. I love broccoli. broccoli. <laughs> Roxana's added some a beautiful, a, a slight touch of broccoli. I like that. We need two eggs more than in, more than enough for our egg fried rice. Mm. Blanch vegetables. Right. Then we are going to add our rice, boiled rice. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Some white, uh, white pepper, salt. some chicken powder or some soya sauce dark soya okay so the seasoning was salt pepper chicken powder and dark soya yes that's it very very nice Look at this recipe. No chicken powder. Yeah. So the dark soya mm -hmm. has given it a very lovely light color. Yes, light. And some white pepper. Yeah. Mm. Ready your rice. We uh, if our everything is ready, it's so easy to make it for you by egg fried rice. Yeah, is this the chopping bit? Yeah, yeah that's a little. Yeah. But it's see, okay, you just have to chop the uh, cucumbers. That's it, and the zucchini. The yes. rest you find frozen. Yes. Or yeah, yeah, frozen hmm. corn and peas. So it's not that difficult. Not and that much it, difficult. Yeah, and if you want, you can add. Some chicken pieces to it, yeah. Mm. That's yeah. up to them. They, then it's become your ch chicken, chicken fried, fried rice. rice. Yeah. We can add seafoods. Uh, so, uh, sorry, Ruksana, you're not going to add vinegar, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. No vinegar. No need to add vinegar here. Okay. Our egg fried rice is, is ready. ready. Yeah. Yep.
Oh wow, I love this part. <laughs> Ruksana, it's always the same. Yeah, easy. Yeah, it's too yeah, easy. Sure. We are going to add some garnish in mm. top. Fried rice. Yes. You can serve it with your favorite gravy. Yes. Sweet and sour chicken, chicken shashlik. Lovely. This is so beautiful. Uh, this is uh, uh, beautiful. So this is how we made egg fried rice. Very simple. The secret here is the right temperature, the right wok. Okay. And most of us have this habit of adding the egg later on. That's why the egg isn't as fluffy and soft. Yes. Right? Yes. The egg is hard. So when you're scrambling the eggs, you scramble them first. Hot oil, two eggs, whip it, and you'll have nice, soft, fluffy eggs. The rest is easy. Boiled rice, blanched vegetables, um, chicken powder, white pepper, and salt, and dark soy sauce. And you have uh, egg fried rice as well. Ruxana, it gets is getting exciting. What is our third recipe? Our third recipe is black pepper chicken. Mmm, black pepper chicken. Okay, and it's just dry. Does it have gravy? Yeah, gravy. Okay, with gravy. So uh, to make black pepper chicken, you will be needing 500 grams boneless chicken thighs cut into bite-sized pieces, one tablespoon cornstarch, one tablespoon soy sauce, one tablespoon vegetable oil. Two tablespoons vegetable oil for frying, one large onion chopped, one bell pepper sliced any color, four to five cloves of garlic minced, one inch piece of ginger minced, one cup carrot, half a cup zucchini, half a cup broccoli. For the sauce, you'll be needing two tablespoons of sauce, one tablespoon oyster sauce, one teaspoon rice vinegar or white vinegar, one tablespoon sesame oil, one tablespoon freshly ground black pepper, one teaspoon sugar, and half a cup or a one-fourth cup chicken broth or water. Wow, those are a lot of ingredients. Now, this is going to be a nice heavy recipe. Now, mm. for, uh, for black pepper chicken, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. to blanch our mixed vegetable, broccoli, carrot and zucchini first. Only one to, uh, one to two minutes enough, more than enough. Yes. So, um, Ruxana, I was just thinking while you were blanching these vegetables, cooking is, uh, uh, Ruxana is very passionate about cooking. You can see it, yeah? She's really into it. She wants to show the best and she wants to serve her guests the best. It's a passion, you know? You want people to love you for your food and you like to see people happy. I think that's what makes a great chef or a cook at home. Yes. Yeah? Otherwise, you know, it's not easy in the kitchen. So yeah, do it with your heart, heart and soul. Every day women in the kitchen, they get bored, but yeah, these recipes are going to maybe add some excitement to your, mm. you know, cooking routine. What yes. do you say, Ruxana? Yeah, it's too exciting. When we uh, do such thing, it's too exciting to present food or like we prepare our misa, we uh, present it. It's like too exciting. And when people love, it. and when people see it with your eyes and you're mm. like, wow, yeah, it makes you happy, yeah, yeah. right? For black pepper chicken, we are going to fry our chicken first. So what is the first step? Now we are going to fry our chicken, slice chicken.
So we are making black pepper chicken, yes. everyone. Vegetable done. Chicken is done. Hmm. Almost done. We fry our chicken. same oil we are going to fry our capsicum and dice onion first. Ruxana, you also have to teach us how to make such perfect cubes. Yeah. Perfect squares, yeah. It's uh, it's practice. Hmm. Practice in our field. Uh, things need practice. If you need perfect slice, perfect dice, you need to per uh, practice for uh, at least fifteen to one yeah. month. Yeah, acha, right. Because you know, the direction you're supposed to cut the vegetable mm. in, you know how exactly you're supposed to, which knife to use. We need all. We need to learn all of this at yes. home. Because uh, at kitchen, in kitchen we need, uh, we also we use different kind of boards, different kinds of mm. knife, mm. everything we use different. Yeah. For bread we need white board, for vegetable we need green, we use green yeah. board, yeah. for meat we uh, use red board. Yes. This is all, some, uh, somehow people are allergic, so mm. we, need, uh, we especially uh, bring uh, Purple color board, cutting yeah, board for yeah, them. Yeah, we right. uh, we can't cut things for okay. those people in right. uh, same uh, cutting right, board. Right. Mm. We have to take care of uh, our guest health also. Our fried vegetables also done. Now we going to add some oil in same pan. First we prepare sauce. For sauce we need some garlic, mm. some ginger. This is my favorite part because I love the aroma of garlic. I love ginger and I love garlic. Mm. Smell is smell too good. So you know, in the cuisine of Hunza, mm -hmm. what is uh, the most common ingredient there? There we uh, we mostly use uh, nut oil, walnut oil, uh, right. uh, almond oil. Right. These specifically your oil and things. Uh, they, huh, yeah, we use our special uh, spices. Right, Everything, yeah. Right, right. So, in normal cooking, what kind of oil do you use? Walnut? Yeah, walnut. People or apricot. Apricot and walnut. Walnut, the, for the, those who are cholesterol issue or these issues, mm. we use uh, walnut. Now, we're going to add some black pepper. Pe black pepper because it's black pepper, chicken. Can I do this? Yeah, 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 sure. I want to stir mm -hmm. this. Some sugar. 
sugar. Yeah. Okay, so let's repeat this. Uh, you added uh, finely chopped garlic mm -hmm. and uh, garlic ginger, uh, green uh, onions, right? Yes. Um, salt, black pepper, dark soya sauce. Yes. This now is oyster. Oyster sauce. Mm. Because Our she's making some yummy blanched vegetables. Mm. Our fry vegetables. Mm. Now I know how they give different colors to the vegetables. Mm -hmm. Some are blanched and some are fried. Ah. Yes. This is a whole science, you know. Yes. I would never have thought of this. Look at this, everyone. This looks so beautiful. Mm. Mm. Yes. And there's no chicken powder. Yeah, I, mean, I also mm. add chicken powder. You added, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. For sauce, I need small pan. Now we're going to make sauce for black pepper chicken. For sauce, we need some oil. Some ginger. Ginger. Garlic paste. This is ginger, garlic. Yes. Okay, okay. Mm. Uh, you didn't add vinegar in this, right? No. Okay. Right now we didn't eat. We don't need vinegar. No, we need vinegar. Okay. I will add. Um, Sorry, one other ingredient she added was sugar. Sugar gives mm. us nice. Yes. Okay, so this is going to be. You're going to add vinegar mm. also. Okay. Done. Mushrooms. Black peppers. Mm. We are going to add some water for sauce. Ginger, garlic, soya, black pepper, chicken broth, hmm. soya, some oyster. oyster, some salt. Actually, oyster sauce. Hmm. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Some sugar for taste. Vinegar. Mm. Some sesame oil. Mm. Chicken powder. Mm. Now, first in a call water I'm going to mix some cornstarch mm. so to make this sauce yeah uh, you did not you did you add oil yeah I okay. ate some oil oil ginger of course because she added chopped uh, ginger garlic then she added uh, chicken powder salt black pepper mm. um, oyster sauce dark soya sauce sesame oil and that's it. Yes. Correct? Yes. Yeah. And some sugar? Yeah, I ate some mm. sugar also. Cornstarch. Most technical part of uh, this sauce is how you mix soya, how you mix uh, these flavors, mm. like ingredients. Mm. Uh, no need to add more soya. Mm. They are like one, one table or half, one mm. and a half tablespoon more than enough. Mm. Okay. Or that cornstarch and that cornstarch. We need that much thickness. Mm. Sauce is almost done. I'm going 
going to add some more soya Salt, everything is more than enough. Okay, perfect. Hmm. <laughs> I am addicted to the chicken cube. Yeah, we also, uh, instead of chicken cube, we uh, use... This is also salty? No. Yeah, there is uh, salt. Okay. I so cannot live without the chicken cube. Because mostly in our uh, Chinese spices, we use uh, specifically Chinese mm. ingredients. Mm. Ch chicken powder, oyster, these have a like salty flavor. Mm. Chicken uh, powder, but that chicken powder you can't get from uh, normal shops. Mm. We yeah. specially ordered from right. China. Okay. Yeah, special. This See. has more, I think, yeah. flavor of chicken. Yeah. This is real chicken powder, mm. actually. Yes. yes. But gives out more flavor. Okay. Which means you can get it in uh, markets here in Islamabad yes. where you get imported stuff, Our correct? chicken, yeah. Hmm. Black pepper. So, wow, look at this. So if you've just tu tuned in, we are, have made black pepper chicken. is perfect it's not spicy okay it's not too sour um, it's suitable for everyone right mm. for every palate chicken sandwich you will need two boneless chicken pieces salt and black pepper to taste one tablespoon olive oil two slices of sandwich bread four slices of cheese lettuce and mayonnaise look sana wow i love your recipes yes now for glee sandwich first we are going to our chicken in slices we need Slice
Ruxana, these are so soft. Yeah, so soft. We need juicy, tender, juicy chicken mm. for uh, our sandwich. So, Ruxana added ginger garlic paste, chicken powder. Even chicken powder in your sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, for good flavor. <laughs> Now, first I am going to add some mayo. It's a quick recipe. When uh, when we have a high tea or high tea par uh, party at home mm -hmm. for for our guests, this one is uh, so uh, easy to make. Yeah. Because. Uh, our guest also loves some unique recipes. And Ruxana, your recipes are just amazing. Thank you so much, Ms. Amina. So yeah, the right size of bread, very important. Yeah. Sandwich bread. Yeah. Okay, now. No. So, so, if you've just joined in, this is the filling. Uh, ginger garlic paste, finely chopped. Um, chicken powder. Uh, salt yes black pepper yes then I add iceberg yeah. after that I'm going to add chicken slices I love to do this part because <laughs> mostly people uh, boil chicken they yeah. add in their sandwich yes, yes. but you know our bread also cold so we uh, mm. we have to make it uh, like little bit warm or it mm. also give you extra flavors okay right so you're suggesting that the chicken should be warm yes okay Now I'm going to add. I'll help you. Cheese slice. One slice of cheese is equal to one glass of milk. <laughs> Everyone. Here. Thank you. Sorry, I was not wearing gloves. But it's, yeah, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Cut. Okay, cut the sides. It's ready. You can add gherkins if you want. It's up to you. Yes. And um, I'm surprised that bread didn't break. Yeah, it's technically, you know, it's technique how we cut the bread. If I, uh, yeah. we usually, usually we uh, use a sharp knife mm -hmm. or uh, there's a totally uh, 
Cutting bread is a so technique. First, mm. I also discussed this one. It's a technique when you are in kitchen or when you, when you are a chef. It's like the, I guess uh, training make you perfect. Mm -hmm. When right. we get a training, we are perfect. Yeah. Now we easily yeah. handle these things. Yeah. But we at home don't. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, practice makes perfect. I hope you enjoyed today's uh, episode. Thank you so much, Ruxana. Um, it is it's because of you know uh, chefs like you that uh, Dining with World is uh, very very liked here, and uh, I hope to see you again. Thank you so much, Miss Amina, and thank you so much for uh, PTV uh, World for uh, this great show. We all wait for your suggestions and your feedback. You can write to us on our PTV World Facebook page. Our videos are also uploaded on YouTube. In case you've missed out on. Uh, an episode or a recipe. Uh, I'm going to catch you next week. Please be good, stay safe. Allah Hafiz.